I just sat here and watched you cry for five minutes. You ain't that tough. You are not going home tonight. I can guarantee that. Sending a person to prison for a crime they did not commit represents the ultimate miscarriage of justice. Too many lives have been devastated and we are at a crossroads where we don't have time. One of the things I think they made you say was that you cut her on the legs. Like, where, how did you come up with that? I don't know. In the United States, police are permitted to lie about evidence. That is a shocking discovery to most people. We've got blood prints, we've got saliva prints, we've got everything. He didn't say we had your blood, we had your saliva. When you lie to people about evidence, when you lie to people about reality, you can change their perceptions, you can change their memories, you can change just about every aspect of their cognitive function. I'm not going to rest, and the rest of the detectives, 12 detectives out here tonight, are not resting until we find the murderers. And it's going to happen tonight. Everybody has a breaking point. Everybody's human, everybody's mortal, everybody has a breaking point. Right. We are all vulnerable under these circumstances of interrogation. Individuals that may be sitting in prison right now praying for a lifeline that someone hears them and sees what they're going through. So she's never going to get out if we don't oh fix this. Oh, my God. I gave myself 25 years to life in prison away from my children. It's something that I didn't even do. I might as well commit suicide. You would just said anything to them just right. to get out of there. But you ready to tell your mom goodbye? Right. You ready? <laughs>